If you'd like to follow along with your own Hashem devotional, please click the link in the description below. Hashem, October 12th, Adon HaShabbat, Lord of the Shabbat. And Jesus said to them, the Shabbat was made on account and for the sake of men, not men for the Shabbat. So the Son of Man is Lord even of the Shabbat. Mark chapter 2, verse 27 and 28. Jesus Christ clearly demonstrated that he is Lord of the Shabbat. The Greek word for Lord in the above verse is kurios, meaning Lord, master, owner. The Jewish rulers and leaders had lost sight and meaning of God's initial intention for the Shabbat. However, Jesus made it clear that the Shabbat was made for men, not man for the Shabbat. One day as Jesus and his disciples were walking through corn fields on the Shabbat, his disciples, being hungry, plucked some of the ears of corn. When the Pharisees saw this, they accused his disciple of doing what was unlawful on the Shabbat. Jesus reminded them of David when he was hungry and went into the house of God, ate of showbread, which was unlawful for anyone to eat except the priests, and gave it to those who were with them. Jesus then told them, in this place is one greater than the temple. But if you had known what this means, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. You would not have condemned the guiltless, for the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. Matthew 12 verse 6 and 8. On another occasion, as Jesus was teaching in the synagogue, he saw a woman who had a spirit of infirmity for 18 long years. She was completely bent forward, unable to straighten herself up and look forward. When Jesus saw her, he immediately stopped what he was doing and attended to her needs. He laid his hand on her, loosed her from her infirmity, and immediately she was healed and began glorifying God. Luke chapter 13, verse 11 and 13. Jesus taught that the Shabbat is not meant to be observed as a religious requirement. It is God's gift. From the beginning, he intended it as a blessing to benefit mankind. He planned for the Shabbat to be a day of physical rest, as well as a time of spiritual refreshment. Please make this declaration. Lord Jesus, you are Lord of the Shabbat. I will keep the Shabbat as holy unto you. I will set aside as a time to rest and be spiritually refreshed as I spend time in your presence. The Hashem Devotional Book is now available. Receive your copy today. Click the product link in the description below.
May the angels of the Lord encamp around you and answer all your longings.